welcome to immaculate art of mary meticulation school good morning students i hope you are all good and staying safe at home today we are going to learn about states of matter from the subject science we see many things in the world some of them are natural and some are man made things we can see a number of things around us Everything we see and touch is made up of matter. What is matter? Anything that occupies space and has mass is called matter. What is mass? Mass is a measure of how much matter is in an object. Matter exists in three forms: solid, liquid, and gas. stones wood table etc are the examples for solid water milk tea honey are the examples for liquid now we'll see the states and properties of matter first we see the properties of solid solid is rigid rigid means hot it occupies space and as fixed shape it is easy to transfer solids from one place to another example you can take out your book from your bag and put it on the table properties of liquid liquid is not rigid it occupies space it has no definite shape it takes the shape of the container that holds them liquids can flow thin liquid such as water or milk flow fast thick liquid such as honey flow slowly now we'll see about the properties of gas gas is not rigid it occupies space and it has no definite shape air is a mixture of gases air can move around freely in all directions hence gases do not have a definite shape for example when you are cycle as a flat tire you pump air into it it gets inflated another example is when you blow air into a balloon and it becomes big because air has occupied space inside the balloon and expanded it anything that occupies space as weight so matter as weight matter can change from one form to another example water a liquid can freeze and change into ice a yes, solid ice can melt and change back into water water can evaporate and become gas or steam when steam cools it changes back to water this property of water helps to give us rain hope you understood children now we'll see the water cycle what is known as water cycle the sun eats up the water from rivers lakes and oceans and the water evaporates and turns into water vapor the water vapor gas travels into the atmosphere cools and condenses into rain and falls again to the earth surface as rain this process is known as water cycle now we'll see uses of matter 
matter in all forms is useful to us. Example, solids such as stones and bricks help us to build houses. Wood is useful for making tables and chairs and for paper. Water is useful to us in many ways. From drinking to washing, cleaning to growing crops etc. Air is filled in cycle, tire, car tire and balloon. Liquefied petroleum is used for cooking. So, matter in all forms is useful. Hope you all understood the lesson states and properties of matter and uses of matter. Now, I am going to give an assignment. Children, put date and write the assignment neatly in the same assignment notebook. While you are coming to school, bring this assignment and submit. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Stay at home. Have a nice day. Bye children.